six moles of Cl2 and 0 0.6 moles of H2O. Fine. I'll write it to three significant figures as well. Now, if you see, um, this equation tell, tells me that four moles of HCl give me two moles of Cl2 and same as H2O because uh, both are two. So, four moles of HCl gives me two moles of Cl2 uh, or two moles of H2O. So, if I have 0 0.6 moles of Cl2 that have formed, that means the, the, the ratio between HCl and Cl2 is 2 is to 1 because 4 is to 2 is the same as 2 is to 1. So if 0 0.6 moles of Cl2 have been formed, that means 1.2 moles of, H2, of HCl had reacted. So because 1.2 divided by 2 is 0 0.6. So 1.2 moles of HCl reacted to give me uh, 0 0.6 moles of Cl2 and 0 0.6 moles of H2O. So if 1.2 moles of HCl reacted, then 0 0.4 moles of HCl will be left because obviously um, 1.2 moles had reacted. So 1.60 minus 1.20 is 0 0.4. So I have 0 0.4 moles of HCl left. Now similarly, uh, if we see the ratio between O2 and Cl2, then 1 mole of O2 gives 2 moles of Cl2. That means that uh, 0 0.6 moles of Cl2 was given by 0 0.3 moles of O2 because 0 0.3 into 2 is 0 0.6. They have a 1 is to 2 ratio. So 0 0.3 moles of O2 reacted to give me 0 0.6 moles of Cl2 and 0 0.6 moles of H2O. So 0 0.3 moles of O2 reacted so the amount of O2 left will be 0 0.2 because 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 is left. So the amount in mole of HCl is 0 0.400 as we have calculated. And, of, uh, and the amount in mole of O2 is 0 0.200 as we have calculated in the equilibrium mixture. So this is correct. And uh, so we have now the amount in moles of all four substances in the reaction in the equilibrium mixture. Okay. So now... Uh, the second part tells us calculate the mole fraction of Cl2 and hence the partial pressures of Cl2, the partial pressure of Cl2 in the equilibrium mixture. So the total number of moles, I will get it by adding all of this. So mole fraction, which is Mf, I've written mole fraction of Cl2 is equal to first let's calculate the total number 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 is 0 0.6. 0 0.6 plus 0 0.6 is 1.2. 1.2 plus 0 0.6 is 1.8. So 1.8 is my denominator. And I have uh, 0 0.6 moles of Cl2. So this is 0 0.6. So my mole fraction is 1 by 3. My mole fraction of Cl2 is 1 by 3 or 0. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, it keeps going on. So I prefer writing 1 by 3. This is the mole fraction of Cl2. And we have and we have to calculate the partial pressure of Cl2. So PCl2, which is the partial pressure of Cl2, is equal to the mole fraction of Cl2 into the total pressure. The total pressure is given, given as 1.5 into 10 to the power of 5. So this is the partial pressure of Cl2 and this will be 50,000 uh, pascals or 5.0 into, uh, let me put the equal to sign, 5.0 into 10 to the power of 4 or 50,000 pascals. This will be the partial pressure of Cl2 and we have done this as well. Let's move forward. So now we have this reaction in which CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3 which is butane, butane gives us methyl propane. So we have butane reacting to form methyl propane. So the question says when a sample of butane is heated to 373 Kelvin in the presence of a catalyst and allowed to reach equilibrium, the following reaction occurs. Butane gives 
uh, gives methyl propane in a reversible reaction and this reaction is exothermic because the enthalpy change is negative.